Hey everybody, it's Richard. Yes it is. I've had a look and I've checked. So we are at the Forest of Dean and we are at marker 115 and 115 is, wait for it, wait for it, the new Adit Trail. And what you'd normally do is you do the wonderful red trail here and then you'd do the red extension. And the red extension brings you down and you come down this flowing bit. And what you'd normally do here is you normally go right, you go down this little bomb hole here and you'd head back to the trail center over there. But we're not gonna do this, this is a new section. So we're gonna climb all the way up there and there's a brand new climb that we're gonna do all the way round the very top, rejoin the blue for, for a couple of sections and then join up with the redone trails at the top, including a brand new trail called Tight and Twisty. So this is just to show you the new bit. Um, and it ties in some of the existing red extension, some of the existing blue, but to make it a really nice loop. So hop on board and I'll show you what the trail is. And I'll probably do it double speed because it's quite a big hill and I'm not feeling it in the legs today. But I do have my cool fat bike. Let's go. Okay, so this is where we're going to branch off, and this is the new Adit Trail. And this is basically a new link trail with a nice climb to get us back up and round over to the fun stuff on the other side of the trail centre. So, this is going to join up here. The old wild boar have been out feeding, um, and this is just going to be a bit of a trudge up here then onto the far road and then into the new section of the climb, the Bluebell Climb. Okay, so a little nice little cut through, and this is where we rejoin the Bluebell climb, which is a brand new, brand new climb, looping us back to the top. So let's see what this is like. The moment it looks really lovely. Hey guys, you right? I'm videoing this. I've got to put some music over it because it's just awful. Here we go. We're off couple of little pops here you can jump so you've got the energy or the skill but a nice little nice little bit of payback in fact lovely little bit of payback after that climb just the last bit of it started getting pretty steep but it's a red trail so you've got to expect a red trail to be challenging 
in the climb down the descent. I'm gonna stop talking now, because I'm wheezing too much. Oh, and here we are. That was the Bluebell climb, the new climb. A little bit of payback, and now we're gonna head right, and we're gonna loop in to a lovely bit of single track at the top. It's gonna to take us all the way back round to rejoin the blue briefly. Right, we're back into this new bit of Adit, which is the sort of single track path. It's been here for a while, but they're very clever to incorporate it. The blue trail is all happening over there and we're kind of parallel to it, but it's lovely staying off the big fire roads as much as we can. It's super. And if you can hear me over the sound of my hub, you might recognise we're rejoining where the blue climbs up. The blue climbs up here from the left, and we're going to join and loop round here. And look who it is, it's Rich from the Dean Trail Volunteers. Back on board, we're saying goodbye to Rich. Right, let's carry on with that it. See you later, mate. And we're back and we've rejoined the blue for a brief section, which is this lovely blue trail, award-winning blue trail. This has been voted the best blue trail in England, I think for the last three or four years. And it really is terrific. So the new Adit extension basically incorporates a bit of this. And this is where you get a chance to just pause, this isn't a race, and just appreciate how beautiful the Forest of Dean is, how quiet it is if you don't have this Hope Hub I've got, sunlight coming through the trees, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much, cheers. And there are lots of very friendly, nice fellow riders out here. Straight on for the blue, you know and love. But if you're following the Adit Trail, the extension to the extension, we're gonna head this way. So let's go down this trail. Right, let's head down this little cut through. So here we go, we've got that nice little cut through and we are very briefly gonna join this fire road and then tuck straight back into the trail here. <laughs> Passing those ladies, a couple of which are Dean Trail volunteers who have worked so hard to build this trail exploring with their friends. Clear 
finish this nice little section and we're going to hang a left here and this is going to bring us back down to rejoin the blue again you'll see what i mean in a couple of minutes so we're going to rejoin the blue trail briefly So this should look quite familiar. You recognise this, we cut the blue and you get to this crossroads. Now, if it looks familiar, this is the uplift road. And you'll see just there is the trailhead and the trailhead where all the downhill trails start. But in order to do add it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry off the blue for one section and then hang a right. So let me show you where I mean. But what we're going to do is turn right. So if you see this sign, this would be an easy one to make a mistake at. The Addit Trail, we're going to hang a right, whereas the blue continues up there. So let's hang a right here. And we're just going to use this fire road to get to one of my favourite trails, which is called Cash Box. So Richard, so that I can puff and pan and go slowly, now's the time to put on the speed. Woo, 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 woo. Now this, obviously there's a bit of foliage, so I don't go too fast down here because the right turn is just here. And you don't want to miss it, because otherwise, here we go, you'd miss out on a lovely bit of trail. And here we go. In, and we're gonna hang a left. And well done, trail fairies. This is a nice trail called Cashbox. So here we are, we've done the Bluebell Climb in the new section on the far side. Um, we've come across, we've traversed across, we've used a little bit of the blue, and we've basically got, come off from the far road, and we've got to what effectively is, I've got to stop saying effectively so much, what is the start of the basically the downhill all the way back to the trail centre. So the trails we're gonna get in, if I remember the names, we're gonna do Cashbox first. Cashbox becomes Supercross. Supercross now has an extra section. We're going straight across into uh, tight and twisty and then straight across into bear trap and that brings us down and we finish off with the blue all the way down to the trail center so effectively from this point where you see this and we're hanging left this is downhill all the way which is fantastic so i'm going to do it in one hit all the way down i'm also going to turn on the old computer and see how long it takes to go from this point from the top all the way down using the new added trail. So hop on board again uh, and let's see how we get on. Let's start. Look at that. That's where I am. And we have started. Woo, let's go. Right, Richard, let's get going. These are the four downhill trails that take us back to the trail center. I might speak slowly so that when I speed up this footage, my voice won't go all squeaky. <laughs> this is cash box. This is, I love this trail. I come so close to hitting my handlebars every time I come through here. 
but it's a lovely trail you sort of zone out you're properly in the forest ducking between the trees it's absolutely lovely you don't have to go super fast to really make it quite exciting but it's a terrific trail for practicing looking further ahead looking where you're going rather than down because otherwise you're making an awful lot of very quick jittery motions like that look at this i love this trail yeah <laughs> You hear that manly squeal. So here we go, cash box carries on. Super fun. These are 800 bars. So if you're thinking it looks tight, it is. But the 800 bars go through it okay. Oh, this looks a bit tight. Yeah. I did actually breathe in there a little bit. <laughs> I know that doesn't work, but it made me feel better for making an effort. So this is cash box. And when you finish cash box, we're going straight left here, straight into what's called Supercross. So this is Supercross, which is a lovely little flowing section. There's some worms to help you out if you're as bad as me to get your line choices wrong. There are things to pop off if you want to. You could really fly down here or take it nice and easy. Whatever you feel like. But it's such a nice, such a nice trail. And we're gonna come down here, say hello to my friends there, carry on with the video, and we're off. Here we go. And pop off there. And we're gonna go right here, up and down over the bottom hole hang a right and this is where the new bit comes in this is the new bit of supercross you would normally have gone down to the fire road but now there's this awesome awesome new section here Whoa. come on fat bike in fact come on legs on a fat bike monster tires Monster wheels, luminal areas. Okay, so here we go. They've built some lovely little berms here that I just did really badly. But hey. So, this is the extended part of Supercross. And they've been so clever. What it means is we can go straight across no fire track straight across into tight and twisty and let me tell you this really does live up to its name <laughs> you you cannot go too quick here if you get to this corner here this one now i think this is terrible it's off camber it's too tight that's the one i helped build this is easily the worst corner two steps here it is easily the worst corner on this trail and it's all thanks to me so sorry about that look at this tight and twisty tight and twisty and another little pop and we're tight again whoa -hoo -hoo. tell you what these big wheels <laughs> they, they take some steering around a very very tight trail but it's a heck of a lot of fun and we're up and we're down <laughs> oh, this trail's awesome whoa that's tight makes you think about it and this is another lovely corner see whoever made that corner should have gone back and repaired the one i did look at this and we're on and we're on an awesome section through the trees this is only the second time i've ridden this and do you know what it's already becoming one of my favorite trails you've really got to have your wits about you you're not going super fast but oh my goodness you've got to think about where those trees are 
handlebar placement making sure your pedals are in the right place but you can't completely let go speed wise because some of these corners are just too tight well actually i guess if you're really good at mountain biking you could probably skid past these and do something clever but sadly i'm not at that level so what am i going to do you're going to come out here so that is tight twisty we are straight over into bear trap so i had a bit of excitement in my voice then i thought that would make up for just how slowly i took that corner i try and convince convey a sense of speed <laughs> oh brake bumps it's very dry and dusty here there's a little pop here easy beasy Woo! fat bike for the win come on fatty yay Whoops. <laughs> the reassuring buzz of the the little tool bag on the back of the saddle tapping the rear wheel and what we've done so we've come out there's a nice little step down here just roll it and there we go and we're going to carry on on this trail that is the end of bear trap we're going to come down here and i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to go straight into the final blue that way you can see how to finish it we're going straight into the blue and this will take us back to the trail center following these guys in and it's lovely how the blue once again has been incorporated into the trail tying everything back in together how good is this so that my friends is the added extension and I'm going to stop here at what is officially the beginning of the red trail and I'll let you know how long it took to do those final sections for the final descent all the way back here so let's have a look at the scores on the doors so that's it we're back at the very beginning of the red trail so if you had done the whole loop you would have started um you would have started up here on the red trail you would have done the red trail you would have carried on with the extension um towards the end of the extension you would have done the adit which have taken you all the way around that lovely bluebell climb then we got to the top and i promised you i started my foam we got to the top and um, which is basically the beginning of all the descents so we did cash box then we did went into supercross supercross crossed the road into titan twisty which then became bear trap and then very finally we just came down here which is the normal very last section of the blue it was 10 minutes exactly 10 minutes from that top down to here which is a really decent amount of time um, from top to bottom to end a ride so that new added section is wonderful i hope you enjoy the trail hope you enjoyed the video um i've just started a new podcast so let's cross let's cross sell uh, the podcast if you go on to any spotify amazon apple etc google um, and put in rich's mountain bike show um, you'll find my podcast give it a listen um, it's really really dull and boring but Hey, if you watch my videos, you'll be used to that by now. Thanks for watching. Please share this and please come and either volunteer or give a couple of quid to the Dean Trail volunteers. See you next time.